Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the gameplay of PUBG Mobile on an Amazon Fire Tablet 8, the latest version of, um, of the Amazon Fire Tablet 8. Now this doesn't work sadly on the Fire Tablet 7, now that is because it doesn't have enough RAM to be able to run the game. So this is the, the minimum cheapest device that I can find, to the best of my knowledge, that will actually run. PUBG Mobile. So, uh, in order to install it, you do need to follow my tutorial on uh, a video that's at the beginning of the comments below, uh, which enables you to install the Google Play Store onto your Amazon F Fire tablet. So, you need to install the Play Store, go in there, and search for PUBG, and it's the one that's produced by Tencent. So I'm just going to log in as guest. Now, if you find that the on-screen navigation buttons won't disappear while you're playing the game, if you hit the multitask button and then go back into PUBG, then it will have disappeared. Uh, so I do apologise about my uh, my character not having any trousers on, uh, but I haven't yet earned any trousers. But I will try and pick some up as I play. So I've set the graphical settings. I'll just I'll just go into them and show you what they're set at. So they are on the lowest and they're on smooth. Um, obviously on screen controls because that's all you can use at the moment with this. I have seen uh, some videos where you can actually put an overlay on onto the on screen controls so you can use a keyboard and mouse. But uh, I'm not I'm not going to do that. I find the on screen controls quite um, quite usable actually. So I'll just hit start and we'll uh, we'll jump straight in really. So just get, take a couple of seconds to load um, to get you into the the initial lobby before you're into the into the plane ready to jump out. And what you will find when it has loaded is that the lobby is quite glitchy, um, similar to how the um, Xbox One version of PUBG. The lobby was very glitchy on there. Uh, now it doesn't really affect the gameplay too badly um, once you're out of the lobby. It's just a little bit glitchy um, and it slows down. I'm assuming that the server's doing um, doing its business to get the game set up. Yeah I'll just have a, have a run around give you an idea of how smooth it, it runs. See if we can get onto the uh, the back of the plane. Ah, there we go. Looks like I'm not the only one with no trousers on in the game. And here we go. So we're up in the plane. I'll just have a, a look around, give you an idea of how smooth it is. So we, we're probably getting 25 to up to 30 frames per second. Um, not amazing, but but good enough to play on such a cheap device. Uh, so I'll have, a, I'll have a look around. The draw distance is pretty poor on the ground, um, but that does, uh, as you get closer to objects, it does it does improve. So I'll just jump out and I'll head straight down towards these buildings. See what I can get myself heavily armed, and then hopefully be able to get some kills. So as you can see, as you get close to the ground, the textures become more detailed as they load so ooh, don't look too great at the moment but uh, as I get close to the ground you will see all of a sudden they will come to life there we go much better once I've loaded it does run a bit smoother so let me go find myself some weapons I always tend to end up in this part of the map, but oh no, there's people there. I'm going to run away from them because I'm a coward. Right, let's go in this building here, see what I can find myself. I'll get a cap on, fantastic. Smoke grenade, the lovely stuff. Got the backpack, oh, we'll get all of that business. What else? Yeah, we'll pick up everything. 
I could do with a weapon though. I didn't do much damage with that smoke grenade. Hmm. Right. This is no good. I need to go and find a weapon. Jump out the window, man. Right. Oh, it's always a bit tense when there's already players around and you've got nothing. Let's have a look in here, see if I can find myself a nice, powerful gun. Ah, great, another smoke grenade. Just what I wanted. I've got plenty of stuff, but no guns. is irritating right let's see if there's anything out of here ah these warehouses are usually pretty good having said that I might just get in a car and try and run some people over if this is indeed one I can drive yes it is so this will give you a good idea of what the gameplay is like in car so we'll just we'll just drive around a little bit, see what we find. So as you can see, it's a, it's a bit jerky, but it's definitely playable. It's it's great for a mobile game. To have a, a multiplayer game with ninety nine players in it on a mobile device is just the stuff of dreams. I I, I hope other games take note. I'd love to have. Um, Call of Duty multiplayer with with control, so you can use mouse and keyboard on a mobile device. Because the hardware is almost there. Some of the high-end tablets are brilliant for it. It really would re reinvigorate the uh, the market for for purchasing tablets as well. If we start getting more games like this, although it's possible to play it on a mobile phone, but I wouldn't fancy that. Right, let's cause some chaos, go through the trees, see how the game handles it. Huh, <laughs> turn me back. Come on, get me going through the trees. And up the big hill. Oh, physics. Amazing. Well, I'll do. I'll go, I'll go towards some buildings and see if uh, I can find someone to kill or be killed by. And then we'll try increasing some of the settings, see how it copes. <laughs> Which I don't think it will, to be honest. Although quite a bit of this is, is down to loading and network latency of other players, I'm assuming. So my connection is quite strong, as you can see, up at the top. 56 ms ping now 48 <laughs> right let's get out of there and see if we can find a gun there must be something for me in here oh, we need to ah, let's have a level 2 <laughs> it'll automatically pick up stuff that that's better than what you've got or if you haven't got something of a similar spec or type it will um, it will just give you it without you having to do anything aha I have a gun not really gonna do much with this though am I let's jump off the building oof Right, going back in my car, I need to find some people. Let's have a look on the map. Oh, I'm miles away. Let's see what I can find. Head towards my teammates. 
See if I can help them with my little pistol. Probably be very disappointed if they found out that I'm uh, not exactly playing this competitively. But hey ho, it's fun. It's a shame the draw distance isn't a little bit better. It would, uh, it would stop things from changing just before you reach them. But it is, we're talking a very low powered device, a very cheap low powered device as well. Come to think of it. Which 12 months ago, if someone said to me, "You'll be able to run PUBG on an Amazon tablet that costs less than 100 pounds," I'd be just, I'd be telling them where to go. <laughs> but here we are, 12 months down the line, we have PUBG with its huge map <laughs> for free as well. Don't really know why it's free. But the uh, the daily login rewards suggest to me that um, we will be getting quite a bit of paid in-app purchases coming up once we're all addicted. <laughs> and that sounds quite cynical, but that's that's how they're going to make the money, isn't it? There's no point in me denying that. <laughs> Here we go. Let's jump out of this while I'm flying through the sky. Or not, as is the case. Oops. <laughs> right, now I'm knackered. I just hope someone comes to put me out of my misery. Oh, worst PUBG player ever, I would say. I deserve that title for that ridiculous move. Oh, hospital there. Not that that's going to save me. <laughs> Somebody help me. Number two. Zombu84. Come and help me. You can do it. I'm getting closer to you, but I'm not going to survive. Right. I'm going to end the video here because I'm having far too much fun. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching.